Hi, my name is Agatha. Welcome in Agatha's Cottage. It's time for a gift to November sewing challenge. This challenge is organized by Alison, Sew Like Dotty. It's the third year running and it's one of my favorite sewing challenges of the year. Rules are simple. Make something using widely stitching needles and fabric, basically. So it's uh, sewing garments, bag, accessories, quilting, uh, cross stitch, embroidery, whatever tickle your fancy, basically. Post on Instagram or email Alison between 1st and the 30th of November. State the country you are in and don't forget to use hashtag AGTN24 and tag Alison at so like Dotty. There are tons of prizes you can win and it's very important that you will do specify your country as some of the prizes are country specific. I will leave the link in the description box to all the information that Alison provided as well as the link to her kickoff video. There is fabulous vlogger tour coming your way. Yesterday you could watch Ruan, Yorkshire Soul Girl. Today with me, tune in to Emma, Soda with Emma. And tomorrow, check Karen from Made by Karen Marie. I hope you will enjoy this video. As you might know, I love sewing for others. It's something that gives me joy and I will do it all year long. And it's something that it's one of the reasons why I'm sewing. I do get more kick out of sewing for anyone else than for myself. However, I'm very cautious about what I'm sewing and for whom. And I learned it in a bad way. So um, over the years, especially when I started sewing, I was so excited about my love for sewing that I wanted to share this craft with everyone. And I wanted to share this new skill with everyone I knew. But not everyone will appreciate your time, effort and the soul you will put into making something. And I'm not even talking about the money you spent on the materials. So over the years, I limited people I'm sewing for. And I do stick to people that I know will absolutely love what I made for them. And they do appreciate how much more time consuming, how much more thought is put into making something rather than their buy now on Amazon. So I have limited list for this year. I'm sewing gifts for four family members this year. So for Chris, I'm making PJs and a hoodie. For the PJ as standard, I will use a pattern from Autobra magazine. And for uh, bottoms, I will use self-drafted uh, shorts bottoms. In addition to that, I'm making him a hoodie in alpine fleece I recently got from Dries and Stoffen. It's just solid, plain, dark uh, gray hoodie. And I will be using chill tea pattern by Ellie and Mac. It's heavily hacked, so it doesn't really look the same way as the original, but it's my go-to for him. I'm not allowed to use any other pattern for him than the Chill Tea by Ellie and Mac. For Alice, I'm making PJs. So I do have three fabrics picked and I do hope I will have enough time to make them all. So I got some lovely ribbonets in um, Ecobee recently. Aren't they adorable? And I also have some cotton jersey that I got from Ecobee during pre-order in September or end of August. They still have some in stock in their retail sale. I'm going to leave link down below. I will be using pattern by Ellie and Mac. It's free kids PJ pattern. Grow with me. Alice is up to size 14, even though she's not like she's barely 12. So um, 
she is very tall for her age so i do need to use size 14. but i do hope uh, she will get at least a year of wear out of the pjs and uh, the next thing that i'm making for her is a bat rope so uh, i will be using pattern by alien mac as well it's very alien mac heavy um, video so it's yvonne day spa bat rope pattern and I will be making size either XXS or XS and I will make it in this blanket I know blankets are weird for the bat rope but it's basically the same type of fabric you get in uh, Shovelbot uh, bat ropes and I got two of those blankets uh, in Aldi recently they were like 7 euro uh, per one and it's 120 wide by 150 long so that's plenty of fabric for the bathrobe and i do hope she will enjoy it alice absolutely loves pokemon so when i showed her the blankets and i asked would that be okay for the bathrobe she was over the moon and she almost broke my ribs while giving me a hug I will be also making Rhapsody blouse for my mom in gorgeous viscose twill I have in my stash from Crafty Studio. I originally bought this fabric for myself, but since uh, doing my colors DIY a few months ago, I did notice that colors in this fabric are not really in my color palette. And when I put it against my face, it washes me off. However, my mom is typical autumn, it would be perfect for her. And she loved Rhapsody blouses I made for myself and she did express, um, basically she suggested that she wouldn't mind getting one of those for herself. Last gift I'm sewing for my family, it will be Pembroke travel pouch for my sister-in-law. She's traveling a lot for work and I think that would be a very useful gift for her. I recently made her a cuddle tunic for traveling uh, in very warm cozy fabric and she told me she loved it so I do think that the travel pouch will be great additional gift to all her travel related stuff. The next batch of gifts is gifts for others. So um, I like to sew for my neighbors because I have fabulous gorgeous neighbors who are such a kind and lovely people and uh, there are like, they are just amazing so um i'm i have two sets of neighbors who one pair got married in september one is getting married in end of november so i want to make them a christmas cushions and i'm gonna show you one that i made just recently for us so that's for our house but i want to make something in similar style for one of the uh, pairs for the other i will make something with gongs because i know they do love gongs so um i use all basically everything here are remnants or upcycle things except for the cushion filler so this is a big cushion for the sofa for the neighbors i will be doing slightly smaller ones uh, but they will be within the same vibes if you are interested in how to make similar cushion let me know and i will put a quick video explaining how i did it there is ton of inspiration on instagram on pinterest i will pop some pictures here so there is plenty to choose from um, as i mentioned i used all stuff that were recycled and for the back i used a flat sheet that i accidentally bought thinking it's the normal sheet and it was 100 percent cotton i reused the original hem from the sheet just so i don't have to do any hemming here and i think it turned out fabulous uh, i have another one almost done just with the christmas bubbles so that would be my job to do after this video is edited and published so there are two pillows for two sets of neighbors i have another neighbors who moved in not so long ago so i'm gonna make them reversible bunting and why reversible because we all live in small cottages they are from the beginning of the last century they are small houses 
uh, although our is converted hence we do have a little bit more space there isn't enough space to store separate decorations for all the occasions therefore i think the reversible bunting is great idea so on one side it's christmas and on the other side it would be Paddy's Day, for example, or you can make Valentine's Day. It's basically very simple uh, rectangles of two fabrics sewn together, binding on the top, and it's done. I did five centimeters space, so two inches space uh, between the uh, bind uh, the pieces of the bunting, and I'm planning to add little wooden pegs so you can actually attach Christmas cards when you get them and have them lined up. So this one is ours, it's going to our kitchen uh, soon, uh, I don't, not until 1st of December, as a rule I don't decorate for Christmas before December, uh, but I wanted to have it made for this video so I can share it with you. And it's a very quick make because I don't think it took me longer than two hours from the moment when I actually thought of it to the moment when I put the last stitch uh, including little breaks for making myself a cup of tea, ironing fabric and stuff like that. So last gifts for neighbors will be placemats so uh, they are renovating house and I want to make them little Christmas placemats with matching coasters so they have something for their newly renovated house. Um, I haven't decided on the fabric yet, but I saw I have so much Christmas fabric that I'm sure I will find something lovely and something that will go well with their interior. Um, one thing, if you're making coast, uh, coasters, placemats, remember about protecting the surface from the warm dishes, basically. So um, use things like Insul Bright uh, or double layers of cotton batting, something that will protect the surface of the table from the heat. And the last category of gifts are little gifts, additional gifts, kind of like stocking fillers. So I do um, have few teens in my life, although I should say Alice has few teens in her life that she might want to give gifts to. However, not necessarily, you know how it is with kids, so I don't sometimes i don't know until last minute that she will need something so i do like to have a little stash of gifts that are generic enough that they can be given to any teenage girl but they are personalized enough that they know that we put a thought into it so as always it's zipper pouches so i'm gonna make tons of little zipper pouches for using the vinyl sheets I have in my stash because I do have a relatively big stash of those vinyl sheets. I want to use them up so I will do various color blocking stuff just to get them used up and I'm planning to make tons of them and just have them available for whenever we need. And you know, you can put a chopstick, a scrunchie, a headband, hand cream whatever you fancy inside and it will be perfect little gift for someone in your life for the zipper pouches i will leave the link down below to my favorite tutorials or three patterns for the zipper pouches there is tons of them i make my hours without any specific pattern so basically i take two a5 uh, vinyl or faux leather sheets and i go from there if you are interested in my process let me know and i will try to put quick tutorial uh, more like know how instead of step by step uh, so that's all my gifts plans my gifts ideas uh, as i mentioned i'm not doing that many this year because i do try to be conscious about my time my time commitments and stuff that I can do and fit in, into my life and I don't want to spend time on sewing something for someone who will not appreciate the amount of time, energy and effort that went into making something. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you are planning to make anything for Christmas this year. Did you get inspired by any of my ideas? If yes, please let me know in the comments below or tag me on Instagram whenever you will be posting your make. I love seeing whatever you made. And don't forget, clean your sewing machine and change your needle. Happy sewing! Bye!